time to play our little game that is called imposter and it's very very simple um every morning two of us give a fact to our producer dan dan then gives the remaining person one of those facts and then the other two of us have to convince that person that we are either t- that we are telling the truth so it's my turn to guess today and the fact that i've been given today is mm-hmm. we nicknamed our chemistry teacher soldier boy we we nicknamed our chemistry teacher soldier boy so one of you either waldo or tonio is telling the truth mm-hmm. one of you guys will be telling a lie we nicknamed our chemistry teacher soldier boy let me look you both in the eyes don't smile like that. <laughs> it's a bad smile, man. It's a ah. bad smile. <laughs> Sour, I need a song. All right, cool. Come up with your stories. Kibbs, you go first. Okay. Tell me why I should believe that you, at your school days, nickname your teacher Soldier Boy. It's Power Up on 1035 Homeboys Radio. Let's go. Okay, so um, in high school, you remember we used to have these guys who are teachers in practice. Mm-hmm. So we used to call them TPs. Okay. Mm-hmm. TP almost right. yeah, so to go to my toilet paper mm-hmm. nini. Right. But ni TP. So this TP came uh for our chemistry class once mm-hmm. and then uh, after the lesson everyone was like, Wait, this guy actually looks like Soldier Boy. Right. So after that, um everyone started calling him Soldier Boy and that just became his name. Mm. Because we were in fact we were the first guys to give him that name mm. and everyone in the school started calling him that name. Right. So that's my explanation. Just because he looked like Soldier Boy. Yeah, that's all. Just one person saying You it. might mm. be lying. <laughs> 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 all right. So you says that just because he looked like Soldier Boy. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm. Brian Waldo. Yes. Why did you nickname your teacher Soldier Boy? Chemistry teacher. Big, big shout out to him because I was very good in chemistry credit to him. His name is Mr. Nzo. Mm. This guy, there was a day, he was a stickler for the rules, first of all. He's the type of guy who would punish you just because you haven't combed your hair mm. in school. So there was a day he comes out of his office and he has, he has his cup of, ki- ha- mm. cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Like a full cup of tea. Mm. And then we notice that he's trying to tie his shoelaces. Mm. So he raises his left leg, places the cup of tea on top of his knee and ties his his shoelaces mm. while the cup of tea is on top of his knee mm. and so we were like hey bro that is army type or something banner so we Wait, decided the, the, the to, yeah. cup with tea was on his the knee the cup with tea was on his knee and I'm, he I'm ties doing it in the shoelaces studio. yes and then he ties and then he ties his shoelaces like that while standing ah. with the cup of tea on his knee and we decided to nickname him soldier boy because that's the type of stuff that soldier people do like people who are soldiers the right. army was yeah. right that was it wow <laughs> wow <laughs> okay now we have tried that in the studio yes mm. and it hasn't made my decision any easier mm-hmm. because you could do it yeah i can tonio could do it yeah as for me <laughs> as you for ain't me, no soldier as for me and my house <laughs> the the chemistry was not chemistry the balance was not there yeah. the flexibility was not yes. there mm. and how old was this teacher 40. guys let me tell you if i get this wrong Mm-hmm. Mm. If I get this wrong, I'm actually gonna be upset with myself, <laughs> right? <laughs> but mm. this is my reasoning. Mm. Waldo's story mm. is so out there, mm. like as in this teacher put a cup of tea on his knee and balanced, it, and then he tied his own shoelace with the cup of tea on his knee. Mm. That story is is so wild. That it must be true. So for me, I'm mm. saying, mm-hmm. Tonio, you're lying, mm. and Brian is telling the truth. If I get this wrong, I'm leaving the studio. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. So do you want to be the one to tell him? I'm a minimum being. Have the honor, bro. Have the honor. So, G, uh, right now you're on top of the table. Yes, mm-hmm. I got 12 points. 12 mm-hmm. points. You got I six. got six. Brian got six. Uh-huh. Yes. And <laughs> your reasoning is actually quite good. I'm impressed. But... But there are no buts, bro. Uh, you got it. You got it. You got, I got it. it. <laughs> yes! yes! There you go. Ending the season really strong. Yeah, not like not like Arsenal. All right. Three points for me? Yeah. yeah. All right. 